Hello, we are Team Soyflect. So we created a soy-based water repellent, and this is super beneficial because the current water repellents that are on the market um, have been linked to health and environmental concerns, and our product is all natural and completely safe for human use. Through this competition, we've really got to learn a lot about the things that we don't learn in our everyday classes. So we're learning about engineering and entrepreneurship and all of these other things that really round out our education, which are gonna be really helpful in the future. We are Agent Sticky Soy Adhesive. We created a soybean-based glue stick for consumer applications, and our soybean-based glue stick is stickier and dries faster than other glue sticks. Learned, I, I learned personally that soy contains a lot of proteins, which is the main reason why it's, uh, it's able to uh, be sticky. Uh, I guess really that's you know, the main thing I learned from soybeans. We just wanted to create like a natural product based off an everyday use thing. Um, which a glue stick is a pr fairly commonly used item that could be improved upon. So we are Team Super Soy. So we created a food water oxygen barrier. Essentially what that means is every fruit, vegetable, and most candies have a very, like a microscopic layer around them that protects it from spoiling sooner. It increases shelf life and it gives a kind of glossy look to it. It's like apples. That's what we made, we made a soy-based version of that. Just by participating in this competition, it shows that you have dedication, drive, and you're able to put in the work to achieve what you want. So it definitely looks good for future careers. So petroleum-based plastic is used in, in a lot of packaging uh, right now, and we are thinking we were thinking of uh, creating a plastic food container um, that is actually made from soy bioplastic. This will create so much value for so many people because it impacts so many people. So many people use these products every day. How many times a day do you store something in a food container or take out Uber Eats and they have plastic containers that they give you? Like this is the core value of our product is we really want to impact as many people as possible. Uh, we're Team Soy Scara. So a large amount of cosmetic products in the market use these PFAS chemicals, which have been known to cause cancers, and also disrupt a whole lot of bodily functions. We decided to create a soy-based mascara that doesn't use PFAS while still fulfilling all the roles of a traditional mascara. When we were searching for different ideas in the very beginning, there was literally soy in so many different things. It was, it was unbelievable. After this soybean competition, um, I've been looking more into research. Uh, it's something that I found a lot more interesting. were soy lace. We created reusable dryer sheets and this solves the waste problem and uh, that is associated with bounce sheets, typical dryer sheets. And we also have a liquid fabric softener to go with that. We were working on a product that was beneficial not only to us and that we can find value in, but something that people can continually use and other markets can grow from. It's really important to show that you can um, be independent and create your own product um, and really show initiative and in getting to the end goal. A lot of teams dropped out and um, it's a really hard competition, but I think it shows a lot of perseverance that we're still here. So our team is Soy Safe. We created a replacement for existing drywall that utilizes soybeans to obtain a much higher fire rating and a greater sound resistance. We learned about soy in a way that it can be used in every aspect. We use things that would normally be waste products. Um, so soy meal, something that isn't always able to be used in food grade products or otherwise soy products. Um, we looked at the properties of that and learned about how we can apply it to new uses. A lot of other teams utilize only the oil or like a wax from the soy, but we decided to do something new and use fire resistance and flour from the soy. So our team name is Soy Wax. So we created a soy-based boat wax and the problem that it solved was a lot of boat waxes have um, warning labels on the bottles and our product does not have any warning labels so it's not harmful to humans, marine life, the environment 
and um, it's also environmentally safe. So our product is 97% soy based. It has high oleic soybean oil um, and then it also has two nature waxes um, that are soy waxes and then we have uh, carnauba wax as well on our product. Hi, we are Team Soy Sealers. We created a soy bottle cap that is intends to replace the plastic bottle caps that you use in everyday life, like on Coca-Cola products and products like that. This is important because a lot of times these bottle caps end up on beaches or in oceans, which can really harm animals. It's good to just persevere and keep going and kind of the more you experiment with your product, the better it turns out. So we had many different prototypes in the beginning but once we <clears throat> finally decided on the like perfect mixture where our bottle cap didn't break, it wasn't too thin, uh, and in the end, um, we ended up making a really good product that works as we intended. We created a tinted moisturizer with an SPF component. We wanted to create this because skin cancer is the leading type of cancer diagnosed in the U.S. Uh, with about 9,500 people per day being diagnosed with it. During this competition, I was able to solve like a real life problem with a real life solution. And I think it's really cool to have something to actually show for that at the end of the day. It gave me a chance to get my hands dirty to actually develop um, a tangible prototype. Our team name is Pure Soy. We created a Pure Soy facial cleanser. Um, it helps with the purifications and it helps to clean the face generally and uh, moisturize it, nourish it with all of the vitamins and minerals. Um, we learned mostly that there's like lots of things you could do with soy. I didn't really know that you could do that much with it. Um, I think it was a good learning experience. We used like 10 different kinds of soy variation, so I think that was really cute, cool to learn. Our team name is Styrosoy. Uh, we created a uh, soybean-based replacement for styrofoam. Poly polystyrene is very uh, toxic and does not decompose. Uh, and like every gre like green-based replacement actually is not very green. They still use a lot of toxic chemicals. Our product is actually non-toxic, like completely. It is compostable, biodegradable. Um, Good for the earth. A lot of experiments in the lab and also for me it was great to be in a multicultural environment and also in an interdisciplinary group in which every single person basically support each other and provides uh, wonderful ideas to create this product. 